What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the May 2023 Great Plains International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have an absolutely jam-packed Great Plains International Airport update as always for you guys. We have so many various aircraft movements, some new routes, and all kinds of fun items to dive into in today's video. So I really hope you guys are excited for this. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Really hope you guys have been enjoying the Great Plains updates lately. There's been so many good ones and yeah, Yes, really excited to have some fun with this and get after today's Great Plains Airport update. We'll start over here with turn. We'll see you change it up a little bit with our uh, low cost carrier. So let's go ahead and get started. This South Star Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the heart livery with uh, blended winglets. It's currently making a non-stop service today in from Houston Hobby and now we'll be heading over to Reno Tahoe. This Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 with split sim tars is coming in from Atlanta and now we'll be heading over to Denver. And this South Airlines Boeing 737-700, also blended winglets, will now be heading over to Dallas Left Field after coming in from San Diego's Lindbergh Field. This Canyon Blue Southwest 737-700 is currently coming in today from Indianapolis, and now it's going to be heading on over to Jacksonville. And we have the absolutely stunning Freedom 1 South Airlines 737-800. This guy's coming in today from Fort Lauderdale and now out to Fort Myers. This Southwest 737 MAX 8 is currently taxiing into the ramp after a flight in from Portland. Now he's going to be heading on over to Islip. And this South Carolina 737-800 with the blended winglets in the Canyon Blue livery is currently coming in today from Phoenix Sky Harbor and now is going to be heading to Puerto Vallarta, one of the few international gates over here. This South Carolina Boeing 737-800 in the Canyon Blue livery of Skimitar winglets is currently blown up with the non-stop service today out to Baltimore after coming in from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And this South Carolina Boeing 737-800 in the heart livery is currently coming in from Tucson and now he's going to be heading on over to Baltimore. Pushing back, we have this South 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. This guy, like I said, pushing back, service up to San Antonio after coming in from Austin Bartram International Airport. Pulling into the gate, we have uh, two beautiful South Carolina aircraft. We have this Triple Crown 1 Boeing 737-700 coming in from San Jose, and now it's going to be heading on over to Los Angeles. And pulling into the gate on the far side, we have that Southwest 737-700. This guy is currently coming in today from New Orleans, and now it's heading over to Nashville International Airport. Taxiing into the ramp as well after landing on the other side, we have the Avello Boeing 737-800. This guy's coming in from Orlando, Florida, and now it's going to be heading over to a new route, New Haven. Really cool to get to see that and very glad that we have it. Very nice. Alrighty, here we go with Breeze. Their Airbus E220-300 is heading out to Las Wages today after coming in earlier today from Orlando. And this Ember ERG-195 is coming in today from Tampa, and now he's heading on over to Charleston. Looking really good. Loving the Breeze Ops. This Spirit Airbus E319 is currently making a non-stop flight today in from Orlando too. Now this guy's going to be heading on over to Fort Lauderdale. And here we have this Sun Country Boeing 737-800 in the uh, older paint scheme. This guy's coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and he's going to be heading over to uh, Puerto Vallarta. And this JetBlue Airbus E321 uh, Mint Neo is going to be making a new non-stop service for us. Service out to Orlando. This guy came in earlier today from New York, John Kennedy. Frontier also has some new bag of tricks for the routes today. We have this Airbus E320 Neo Pop Prairie Dog. This guy's kind of coming in from Phoenix today. Glad to have that new non-stop service. And now he's going to be heading on over to Denver. And we have Georgia the Painted Bunny over here on your left. Uh, this guy's currently coming in today from Las Vegas. And now he's going to be heading on over to Tampa. Also a new seasonal route, which is really cool. Hanging out down here at the end of the concourse, we have the absolutely stunning Hawaiian Airlines Airbus E330-200. This guy's now out to uh, Honolulu. After coming in for a new upgauge route, service out to Kahului. Really cool to get to see that. Looking very forward to that. This JSX Ember Ear J-145 is taxing into a ramp after a non-stop flight today in from Phoenix. Uh, really nice long one there. He's heading over to Dallas Love Field following that. And we have an Exojet Sus Citation X loading up. This guy is now out to um, Denver Centennial after coming in from Flagstaff, so a little West Coast action there. And we have that uh, Denim 300 right there currently taxiing out. This guy's heading over to um, uh, Boston today after coming in today from Pensacola. We have a Cessna 172 uh, currently making his way on over to uh, St. Louis with a couple of stops. And we have a, a PC-12 right here. This guy's currently making a local flight around the area for some testing demonstration purposes predominantly and we have this Learjet uh, 75 uh, this guy's currently getting ready to taxi out with the non-stop service today over to um, Washington Reagan and this guy came in earlier today from um, uh, this guy's coming in from Springfield Missouri very nice all right let's go ahead and get some taxing aircraft really changed up here a little bit so let's go get after it 
since we had a bunch of good ones. But first and foremost, let's get a really nice zoom across the ramp. We have a Southwest 737 Max 8. This guy's currently uh, getting ready to taxi across for departure on the other side of the apron. This guy came in earlier today from, um, excuse me, this guy's coming in right now from San, or, uh, yeah, San Antonio. And this guy's now gonna be heading on over to um, uh, Omaha. All right, here we go. We got a really nice team double lineup over there that I'll get from this perspective because it looks pretty cool. We have a South Carolina Boeing 737 800 Tennessee One livery. This guy's currently just landed in after a nonstop flight today from Chicago Midway. Now he's heading on over to Columbus. And we have the PSA American Airlines Airbus E319 texting out uh, for departure. He's heading on over to the other side. This guy's a little early on his outbound flight to Charlotte and he came in earlier today from uh, Chicago O'Hare. Currently on short final form, only one five left as we got the south flow today. We got this Jet Blue, sorry, the lens is kind of messing up with me. Jet Blue, Airbus, or sorry, this Ember Ear JS190, the Bark Hotel. This guy's on short final from Newark today. I know they're a new service, so glad to see that. It's a summer seasonal. And this guy's now going to be heading on over to Fort Lauderdale. Holding short, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300. Uh, this guy now has a nonstop flight today over to uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle. And this guy came in earlier today from Los Angeles. Uh, really cool taxiing setup. Uh, we just added this second row into the departures from one five left. So that's a really nice expansion. Taxiway has moved over and as a result, we have more area for takeoff over here. So it's a little less cluttered. So that's really cool. Pretty much the first aircraft that lines up on the marking right here is the first aircraft to go. Nevertheless, we have two Uniteds to start this out. The Boeing 737-800s out to Fort Lauderdale today after coming in from Cleveland. And the Stars and Bars, Airbus E320, is going to be number two in line. This guy's coming in today from Las Vegas, and now he's going to be heading on over to Denver. Uh, behind the 737-800, we have another one. This is going to be Delta Sky Team 737-800. This guy's coming in today from Orlando, and now it's out to Raleigh-Durham. Rally or Raleigh, whichever uh, pronunciation is proper. And this American Airlines Airbus E321 Neo is currently holding short. This guy's out to Seattle after coming in from a brand new long nonstop destination to Anchorage, Alaska, summer seasonal service. Really excited to have that one. So I think that'll be a really nice add to our portfolio. Hopefully it does well. I would love to see an upgrade, but the E321 is a really solid aircraft for us on that flight. So very pleased with that effort. Uh, currently, uh, number five, we have this Mary Jet Boeing 757-200. This guy's currently coming in from Miami on his typical freighter route, and we'll be heading back out there looking solid. There's a little bit better of an angle of it. And we have this United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER in the Eco Sky delivery, taxing out for service up to Houston after coming in today from Chicago O'Hare. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on Terminal B. We are in a good position, so let's go ahead and do it. Pushing back, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus E319 with a nonstop flight today out to Las Vegas, and he came in earlier today from, um, excuse me, this guy's coming in from Eagle Vet, really cool route. Delta Connection Ember ERJ-170, this guy's currently coming in today from Pittsburgh, now out to Indianapolis. This Delta Airlines Boeing 737 800s over to Seattle today, came in on a nice flight from San Diego earlier today. This Delta Airlines Airbus E220-100 is currently coming in today from Salt Lake City, and now he's on over to JFK. Uh, here's what the three RJ gates look like. You guys probably remember 767 hybrid gate it goes about right here, but we have our three RJ gates today because yes, the 767 is not here right now. Uh, we have this Delta CRJ-900 uh, waiting for the gate to come up to him. This guy's making a service in today from Syracuse and now it's going to be heading on over to uh, Boston. And this CRJ-900 is coming in today from uh, St. Louis and now he's heading on over to Dallas-Fort Worth. And we have the CRJ200 coming in from Dallas Love Field, ironically. And now he's heading on over to, um, this guy's heading to, uh, uh, on the tip of my tongue, Cincinnati. There we go. Pretty sorry route for Cincinnati, or aircraft, excuse me, but nevertheless, looking pretty good. Sorry guys, the focus is really whack. Here we have this Delta Airlines, Airbus E321, the thank you livery coming in from Minneapolis. Now this guy's gonna be heading on over to uh, New York Gloria. This is Delta Airlines, Boeing 737-900 is currently coming in today from Orlando. Now he's heading on over to uh, Phoenix. And this is Delta Airlines, Boeing 737-200, operating a brand new nonstop service, Orange County, John Wayne, Santa Ana International Airport, which is a really cool route to see for us. Uh, very unique, so really glad to see that. This guy's now off to Detroit following that. This Delta Airlines, Boeing 737-300 in the Sky Team colors are... Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I was thinking Sky Team because I looked over at 738 over there. Uh, this is not Sky Team, this is normal. I wish they had a Sky Team, that would be really cool. Got Sky Team on my mind after watching some uh, Matt on YouTube. You guys don't know exactly who I'm referencing, but nevertheless, this guy's currently making the non-stop service today over to, um, uh, we're going over to Fort Lauderdale with this flight. He came in earlier today from Salt Lake City. 
I don't even know if there's any 753s over there, to be honest, but I hope there is. This American Airlines Airbus Ethan 19 will be our intermission over to uh, Philadelphia after coming in today from uh, Nashville. And this Delta Airlines Airbus E3-3300 is currently making a non-stop flight out to London Heathrow today and came in from Amsterdam to Schiphol about three hours ago. So looking good here on the only sole international gate of the Delta Terminal. Here's the Delta Airlines Airbus E321 Neo. Would really like to fly on one of these at some point. Uh, this guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Miami and now it's heading out to Washington Reagan. And I would love to get on another 77200 as well, of course. What this Delta Airlines example is currently loading up, kind of obstructed with the jet bridge. Here's a nice view of it if you would like to see it. This guy's kind of making the non-stop flight today in from uh, Boston and now he's heading on over to um, New York John Kennedy. Let's see if we can get that on there, there we go. A little less obstructed here for the Airbuses. We'll start with the newest one, the Airbus E220-100. It's currently coming in today from uh, Las Vegas, and now he's heading on over to, let's see here. Uh, I think we've hit up all the hubs. Let's go with Portland, that's the next best. And the Delta Airlines Airbus E320 is currently coming in today from Cincinnati. Nice little counterpart there on his departure. And now he's gonna be coming in from Mexico City, looking really good. Down there on the far side, we have a Delta CRJ 700 uh, coming in today from Traverse City, now out to Birmingham. And lastly, another CRJ-200 over there on the far side. This guy's coming in today from Jacksonville, and now he's gonna be heading on over to um, Jackson, Mississippi, looking really good. Very unique route, I like that effort. Okay, I'd like to move over to the other side. Let's see if I can get over there, give you guys a little view of the airport as we speak. Hope you guys are enjoying the update so far. And uh, let me know if you guys like to see any improvements or changes to it. I would love to adjust to make it more enjoyable for all of you guys. All right, so here we go with United. Uh, this terminal, of course, constructed in 2010, uh, going really strong. We have this United Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. This guy's currently making a nonstop flight today in from Los Angeles, now out to Newark. And we have the beautiful her here, California 7200. Would love to get to catch one of these as well and fly on them if possible. Uh, this guy's coming in from Newark. Now he's on over to Denver. Uh, here's the 737-700 coming in from Miami and now he's gonna be heading on over to Denver. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit better view here without knocking anything off the table. There we go, coming around. Oh, little tight squeeze around here. Let's see if I can make it without, this is the struggle of airport updates. Wish my room wasn't so tight in some regards, but it's huge and I still can't fit this big airport, so what can I say? Uh, this is United 737 MAX 9 is currently coming in today from Las Vegas and now he's heading on over to Houston. And the Allegiant Conga line, no new services today, but we got a bunch of good ones. Uh, the weather's been getting better as a result. There's not been as many complaints about the uh, air stair usage. So we have Airbus E319, this guy's coming in today from Las Vegas, now heading out to Punta Gorda. And we have Airbus E320 with Sharklets heading out to Nashville after coming in today from um, Orlando Sanford. And the Airbus E319 is coming in from Destin right now, and he's gonna be heading on over to Vegas. The Silver ATR42 uh, is of course making his rounds. Uh, with uh, Birmingham, Jackson, Mississippi, and eventually on over to Tampa, looking really great. Pulling into the gate, we have this American Airlines Airbus E321 with the fence tips, IAE engines. I would love to see another one of these done at some point, but for now we got this beautiful plane. This guy's coming in from Charlotte, of course, and now he's heading on over to Phoenix. A little backlit, I'll get a better perspective here in a moment, but the FedEx Express Boeing 757-200 is taxiing, in, or taxiing out uh, of the cargo ramp. He's heading over for departure, we're only one five left. Cargo is a little less priority, especially when it's early like this flight. So that's why he's doing the long taxi. He's on over to um, Memphis after coming in today from Tampa. Uh, taxiing in after a nonstop flight from Cleveland is the beautiful Star Wars United Airlines 737-800 on the blue side. And now he's going to be heading here in a little bit on over to um, uh, Washington Dulles. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's do the rest of this so we don't forget it. So here we have the beautiful United Air Express section. So we have the CRJ-700, I uh, know uh, it's a 550, but I'm using it as a 700 right now. Uh, this guy's heading on over to Aspen, which is a really cool route after coming in today from Indianapolis. The commuter 145 is currently coming in from Cleveland and now he's uh, making a pretty solid flight today. Heading on over to, excuse me, um, Lincoln, Nebraska. Still a really cool route of our EAS services. And uh, this CRJ-700 uh, is currently coming in today. Uh, flight from St. Louis, and now he's heading to uh, back to St. Louis on the turnaround. Uh, three 175s, the Evo in the front's coming in from uh, Midland, Texas, which is a really unique route, it's just a daily service, which is really cool. Now he's heading on over to Tulsa. 
the back 175 is coming in today from Syracuse, and now he's going to be making a service day over to uh, Louisville. And this uh, 175 right here is currently uh, making a service to uh, Nashville, and he's going to be heading on over to Jacksonville here in a little bit. And we have this CRD-700 coming in today from, excuse me, uh, this is going to be a Detroit flight. Now he's going to be heading on over to um, uh, Grand Rapids. This United Airlines 737-900 is currently coming in today from Washington Dulles. Now he's going to be heading on over to Denver. And this beautiful 757-200 is coming in from San Francisco. And now he's going to be heading over to um, uh, Orlando. And this Boeing 737 MAX 8 is currently coming in today from Houston. And now he's going to be heading on over to uh, Chicago here. And don't worry, guys. It's just dozens of frequencies a day to all these big cities. So that's why you're hearing them so much. Uh, this 737-900, on the other hand, though, sent out to San Diego and came in earlier today from uh, Phoenix. And this 737-700 is loading up, getting the gate attached right now. This guy's heading uh, back onto um, uh, Denver on a turnaround. Continental Retro 737-900 is coming in today from Boston. Now he's up in New York. Uh, John Kennedy, which is a once daily 737-900, which is really cool. And lastly, we have this Boeing 737-200 Continental Globe. Glad to get this in here. It's been a while. love those RB211s on it. Uh, this guy's currently coming in today from Los Angeles, and he's proceeding on over to Fort Lauderdale. So all looking really good there at the Beacon course. Looking great. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Now let's go ahead and start progressing over to... Uh, the satellite Costello tournament, or this is the normal one, and then the satellite is what I was getting at. So here we go with our American Eagles, the CRD-700. It's a PSA flight today. On over to Minneapolis, after coming in from Sac, or ooh, a little long for that. Uh, let's try um, Raleigh Durham. That's a little better. This 175 is currently coming in for Envoy today from um, Austin, Texas. Now out to, ironically, um, back out to Texas, uh, El Paso. This 175 is a Republic flight from Indianapolis. That's a turnaround, ironically, so looking good. Uh, the Republic CRD 900s continue to go strong. Here is one of them coming in today from Boston, now heading over to Pensacola. PSA CRD 700 coming in from Charlotte, ironically, now out to Philadelphia. So a little bit of RJ action, like to do with some of the bigger hub hubs. And here's another 175 coming in from uh, White Plains, Westchester. Really cool to see that. And now it's going to be heading back on over to uh, uh, Fargo. Really cool. Uh, this CRD-700 is PSA. This guy is coming in from um, San Jose, or poof, way too far. I have some Eagle routes listed here that I really should have thought up a little bit more on. Uh, this guy's heading out to West Palm Beach, came in earlier today from Milwaukee. This CRD-900 is heading out over to Oklahoma City after coming in from Albuquerque. This 175 is coming in from uh, Louisville, and now he's going to be heading over to Norfolk. This 170 is coming in from Tulsa right now, and he's going to be heading back on to uh, Traverse City. Pulling into the gate, we have a 145. Well, the 145s, you'll see them here in a minute. I, I moved them a little bit. Anyways, this 145 stacks into the gate. Coming in from Birmingham, now he's going to be heading over to Wichita. Lastly, uh, one more PSA CRJ-900 PSA this time, ironically. This guy's coming in today from Houston Hobby, and now it's going to be making his service today out to Cincinnati. So all looking really good. Here's the beautiful American Airlines concourse. We've got a bunch of great stuff going on here at the Satellite Terminal. No expansions or anything yet, which is kind of interesting. I thought we would have had one by now, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and get it rolling. Uh, American Airlines, Mode Triple 7 200 ER. This guy's heading out to uh, Madrid after coming in from Sao Paulo. Looking great. I uh, really hope to get an Iberia model soon. That would definitely be a takeover for that. So American Airlines, Boeing 787-8 is coming in today from Honolulu. Beautiful route. Now he's going to be heading on over to Sao, or I'm sorry, um, uh, San Jose, San Juan. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of. Too many sands. Uh, speaking of the sands, here we have this American Airlines Boeing Trip 7 300 ER. Couldn't think of a sand route rep, but this guy's heading out to London. Came in earlier today on a beautiful 777 300 ER service from none other than Paris, which is really impressive for Americans. So glad to see that. All right, we got this Ember 175 for Envoy doing an international flight out to Chihuahua, Mexico. Came in earlier today from. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in range. We'll just say turn around. How about that? This American Airlines Oops E319 with Sharklets is coming in today from uh, LaGuardia, now out to Washington Reagan. Cool to see Sharklets and Reagan. Let me load the camera here a little bit. There we go. And then we have this American Airlines Airbus E321 uh, coming in today from Orlando, now out to Austin. And this American Airlines Airbus E321 Neo is currently coming in from Phoenix, and now he's going to be heading out to Boston. 
Reno Air 737-800 shows up. Is the light better on this side? Oh, it is kind of better on this side. Sorry, guys. It's kind of, it's weird uh, with this time of day. Sorry, I've been super busy and haven't got a chance to get ideal recording times, but hopefully it'll be calming down here once I get back to school. I'm recording this at the end of the spring break, so it's been kind of uh, chaotic. But nevertheless, Reno Air is out the Dallas Fort Worth on a turnaround. Still can't get over this beautiful 737 that engine models did. So glad that we, I was able to get them. Uh, but this one particularly is currently coming in from Tampa, and now it's going to be heading on over to SeaTac. And this American Airlines Airbus E320 is coming in from Columbus right now. Now he's heading over to Pittsburgh. Nice services. And this American 737-800 logo on the winglet is coming in right now from San Antonio, and he's heading out to Houston here in a little bit. This American Airlines Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner is currently coming in today. Uh, excuse me. From uh, Kahului, and now it's going to be heading on over to Los Angeles. And this American 320 is currently coming in today from Las Vegas, and we'll be heading on over to um, uh, uh, Denver. And this Boeing 787-8, still a great engine model. I just will absolutely love the effort here. Anyways, this guy's currently coming in today from uh, Philadelphia, and now it's heading on over to Dallas Fort Worth. There's the, a better view of that 757 I was referencing. And here we go with the next round of gates. Getting the gate attached, we have the American Airlines Airbus A320. Uh, this guy's coming in from Charlotte after coming in, uh, or now is heading on over to Miami. Airbus 319, let me see if I can get this zoomed in a little bit better. Airbus A319 is coming in right now from Boston, and he's going to be heading on over to uh, uh, Tucson, once daily mainline, looking great. Flagship Valor Airbus A321 is heading over to uh, Denver today and came in earlier from Toronto. Pulling into the gate, there's that 321. Uh, this American Airbus E319 is coming in from Raleigh, Durham. Now he's heading back to uh, San Jose del Cabo. And this Airbus E320 is currently out to uh, Sacramento and came in earlier today from uh, Washington Reagan. This Boeing 737 MAX 8 is coming in from Gordia, now out to Orange County. So American uh, had this seasonally beforehand. Uh, before airport updates were going out for uh, great planes and now Delta of course coming in to compete so I hope they do well I think they will uh, this American Airlines Airbus E321 is now in right now from Atlanta it'll be heading over to Salt Lake City and another beautiful 737 this is a 2019 engine model release uh, currently coming in from St. Louis now out to Nashville here's a 321 out to New Orleans it came in earlier today from Houston Air Continental staying in the region there of, uh, close to the Gulf of Mexico one more Airbus A321 right here. Uh, this guy's currently making it in right now from Miami, and now he's heading on over to uh, Chicago over here. Airbus 319 is coming in right now from uh, Washington Dulles, and now he's heading back on to uh, Pittsburgh. More to love, what more could you love about this beautiful Alaska 737-900ER coming in from Seattle on a turnaround. And lastly, this Alaska Ember 175 is currently making his service today in from um, San Francisco, and now he's heading on over to uh, Spokane, which is a really cool route. Okay, so with all of that being said... Sorry about that, everybody. Didn't mean to pause right there, but nevertheless, let's get back into this. So here we go with the cargo ramp with the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter on a brand new service to San Diego, which is really cool. Came in earlier today from Indianapolis. And this UPS Boeing 747-400 is currently uh, getting ready for Anchorage. Uh, now we have passenger service go with the cargo service. And this guy's now out to Chicago Rockford. Really cool 747 route. MD-11 is heading out to Ontario. Came in earlier today from Louisville. And the primary Boeing 767-300 freighter. Uh, really cool to see all these primary facilities going up. We'll say this guy's a Portland turnaround today. And here is the Polar DHL Boeing 767-300. We do have a new tag launch. This comes in from Cincinnati, which is what it's doing right now. We'll load up. And now it's going to be heading on west over to Phoenix. And then we'll return from Phoenix here in a little bit overnight. And then back out to Cincinnati. So that's what we have right here. So really cool to see that. So taxing into the gate right there. Or into the hard stand, I should suppose. And the beautiful Cargo Lux Boeing 747-400. Or a Dash 8 Freighter. Of course, Luxembourg. Looking awesome. Uh, here's a Finner Airbus E350-900 currently here in the American Airlines hangar. Of course, they are one world contracting here, so a little bit easier to get some maintenance done on uh, they leave it here for a couple days. So that worked out really well for crews too and various other factors. So nice way to get some maintenance in for it. This American Airlines logo on the wing on 737-800 uh, came in earlier today from St. Louis. I'm just chilling out over here. Might get a little bit of inspections, but should be good. Um, the CRD-200s that's have had a little bit more of a suspension. We'll see what happens with these, but currently they are still suspended, so that's why they're over here. And we have a beautiful lineup of uh, American Airlines aircraft. We have a One World 737-800, 
uh, Airbus A319, Airbus A321neo, a Boeing 737800, and the US Airways Heritage Airbus A321 are all hanging out and we'll be heading on some flights here in a little bit. And then we have two non-American um, aircraft. We have a Frontier Airbus E320 Griswold Bear and a Spirit Airbus E320 with Shark Guns 2. These are both getting ready to go here in a little bit. All right, here's the taxing aircraft. I found those 145s we were previously referencing. There's the American 737 MAX 8 out to LaGuardia right there, looking really good. That American 145 is heading out to Omaha today for Piedmont, came in earlier today from uh, Clarksburg, West Virginia. And this 145 is currently coming in today from Allentown, and now it's gonna be heading out to Atlantic City. And this American Airlines 737 800 is number two in line, uh, heading over on a maintenance flight to Miami, came in earlier today from Las Vegas. And this American Airlines Airbus E220 is number one uh, for departure. This guy's gonna be heading out to uh, Boston today, came in earlier from Phoenix, looking good. This American Airlines Airbus E319 is currently making a non-stop flight today in from Las Vegas. Uh, and now he's in a bunch of Vegas flights, if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's very popular around here to go to Vegas for the weekend. Now heading on over to Orlando. And this United Airlines Airbus A320 is currently coming in today from, uh, excuse me, um, let's see here, uh, Los Angeles. And now it's going to be heading on over to um, uh, Jacksonville, Lincoln Route Great. Okay, let's go ahead and loop around the other side because that's where I want to start all of our uh, aircraft for today. Let's go ahead and do the beautiful 28380s right here. Sorry about the camera shaking. I don't know why it does that, but it's just really inconsistent. Sometimes in low light, it just goes insane. Beginning right here with the British Airways Airbus E380 is finally back, which I absolutely love to see. This guy's out to London today after coming in there from there about two hours ago, so looking really good. China Southern's Airbus E380 is heading out right now over to Skyly's Airport, of course, so we absolutely love that effort right there. In a beautiful lineup here, a uh, Terminal D of various carriers from North America, so we and uh, of course, uh, plus Avianca. Uh, starting with their Airbus E320 heading out to San Salvador today, looking really great. And here's the Caribbean Boeing 737 MAX 8 uh, coming in today from Cayman Islands, or I'm sorry, um, Georgetown, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's Georgetown, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about the gate there, it got kind of messed up, but we have the Aeromexico Boeing 737 800 coming in today from Mexico City, and we'll be heading back out there here in a little bit. The Velars, or, or sorry, not Velars yet, Viva Aerobus Airbus E320 with fence steps is currently coming in today from uh, Mexico City, now out to Monterey. And there's the Volaris Airbus E321 Neo. Uh, really glad to get to see a few of these in uh, San Jose del Cabo the other day. Uh, this guy's now out to, speaking of which, San Jose del Cabo after coming in from Aguilarajara. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. This table always makes it kind of hard to reach. Uh, currently getting towed over to the hard stand, we have a absolutely stunning Rojadanium Boeing 787-8. Uh, this guy's gonna be heading back out to Amman here in about two hours. They just need gate space mainly is the main reason they're towing it. A uh, Sunwing Boeing 737-800. Uh, this guy's gonna be getting loaded up and now he's gonna be heading on over to, I'm pretty sure I had Toronto for him. I had, excuse me, yeah, Toronto. And now it's gonna be heading on over to Montreal. That's what I have for Sunwing. All right, this WestJet Boeing 737-800 is coming in from Halifax today, now out to Winnipeg. So glad to see those seasonal routes returning for our locals. Swoop Boeing 737-800 coming in from uh, Absabath, or, Odyssey of Bosford, hopefully I said that kind of right. I know it was pretty bad, but that's a turnaround for him, so that's looking good. West Jet Boeing 737-800 in the foreground, heading on over to Calgary after coming in from Edmonton, so we love the uh, effort there. Air Canada Rouge, Airbus E321, heading on over to um, Victoria, which is, or I'm sorry, that's, that's, a, that's a little much for 321. Let's pull that back. Uh, this guy's heading on over to uh, Ottawa after coming in from Toronto. This Air Canada Boeing 737 MAX, I think this could probably land at Victoria. I could be wrong, but let's just have some fun with it. We'll say that Victoria constructed a new airport. If not, head on over to Victoria. Turnaround service, just arriving into the gate. And this Air Canada Ember Ear J-175 is currently coming in today from Edmonton, and now it's going to be heading on over to um, uh, Montreal, a little bit of a shorter flight. Or not shorter flight, but a little bit of smaller capacity. That's what I was getting at. Delta Airlines Airbus E321 taxiing all the way around after just landing in. This guy's coming in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and now it's heading over to Detroit later, here in a little bit. This Air Canada Boeing 787-9 is a Toronto turnaround. I don't think that means much of an introduction for how cool of a route that is. And Delta Airbus E22300 just got taxied off. It only took a little bit more length. Uh, this guy's coming in today from, excuse me, also coming in from now Detroit, and this guy's heading on over to uh, Boston here later today. 
Plenty of Boston service too. They are very big on that. Caribbean Airlines, Boeing 737 MAX 8 coming in from, uh, of course I blank on the route for this guy. Um, so let's just say, uh, having some fun with it. And this beautiful Emirates Airbus A380-800 just arrived in uh, as he will be the second flight to that 777-300 over there on the far side. Coming in, of course, from Dubai and United Emirates. I'm sure probably by the time this video is coming out, Gemini may release the, I guess it's going to be a new standard livery. So the titles are doubled, or not quite double the size, but they're exponentially bigger and the tail now has some waves. So definitely we'll try to get one of those to make it, um, have some fun with that. But for now, the uh, standard livery looks good. I personally think I like this one a little bit better right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if the current color or the newer livery grows on me fast. So we'll see what happens there though. We currently have two uh, Boeing aircraft on the ramp. Um, and the 788 is going to come join the Air Premium Boeing 787-9. Heading on over to Skyly's Airport, of course. We love that effort. She's very much appreciating that. So there we go. And the Emirates Boeing 777 300 er came in from Dubai about three hours ago. And he's going to be heading back first here in a moment. We have a conga line here of aircraft that are early. Of course, the rule, if you're over 30 minutes early, you're sitting. So that's exactly what we have here with the American Sierra J-900 uh, coming in today from... Um, Amarillo, so it kind of makes sense why it was a pretty uh, early arrival since it had tailwind and was, um, of course, that long of a flight could be early often. This Delta Sierra Day 700 is also making a pretty long flight for him in from um, Colorado Springs, so that would also kind of add up. And this America West Airbus E319 certainly adds up as he's coming in from um, Jackson Hole, so it really makes sense why he's so early. Okay, this United Airlines Boeing 737-300 is taxing in. Uh, this guy's coming in right now from Washington Dulles, now heading out to Newark. One of my favorites, so glad to have that. And this Envoy Retro Ember 170 for American is currently coming in today right now from uh, Detroit, and now it's going to be heading over to, um, I think if I missed any like big Midwest cities that really need a flight. Oh, let's go with Knoxville, Tennessee. That's a solid size. Not the biggest town in the world, but you know, it gets the job done. Uh, this Turkish Boeing 787 9 is just taxing into the gate. Uh, this guy, or just making his way over to the gate, would be a more proper way to phrase that. Coming in from Istanbul. And this Aer Lingus Airbus A321 Neo is heading over to Dublin right now, looking really great. We'd love to get a 330, so we'll see if that happens at some point. All right, this TUI Boeing 787 9 is currently coming in today from. Um, how did I not end up writing TUI's route? Um, Awesome, I can't believe I, I guess I thought that I was gonna remember it that good. Uh, well, it's not gonna be, um, I'm trying to think what it was. It's slipping my mind right now. It wasn't Manchester. I think it was, I think it was, I had been Aberdeen. I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Uh, for all my uh, fans in Europe, have some fun with that. And uh, I promise I'll get a rope for the next round of updates. I'll try to get some really solid new aircraft too to go with that, so it'll be good. This a and Boeing 77-9 Dreamliner in the uh, Star Wars livery is currently coming in today from um, the great city of Tokyo. Looking really great right there. And currently pulling into the gate, we have the South African Airways Airbus E350-900. I hope they've made success in their uh, attempt to relaunch since uh, at the time of this bit, uh, filming that they're trying to get there. Nevertheless, this guy is currently heading on over to Johannesburg. And we have this Korean Air Boeing 77-9 heading on over to Seoul, South Korea. Looking really good. And this KLM Boeing 777-300 ER is currently heading out today to Amsterdam. Looking really great. Love that aircraft. Really good pickup right there. This Japan Airlines Boeing 77-9 is heading on over to Tokyo, Narita. Looking really nice. Love that aircraft as well. All these internationals. It's so cool to see them. Uh, speaking of what shares of British Airways, Airbus E350-1000 coming in from London Heathrow. So really nice to get to see two BAs at once. That's usually prohibited, but the BA was just pushing and this guy just got to the gates. So as you guys can tell, it's really fast moving on all these gates and everything. Just took over for that uh, uh, Royal Danian as that came in. So really cool. Or getting towed, I should say. And the Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER is, of course, it's heading on over to um, uh, Doha. So really cool. You get to see this aircraft here, and I'm very glad I got it. And lastly, we have the Iceland Air Boeing 757 200th anniversary. It's coming in right now from, um, uh, I'm forgetting the city. Um, dang it, what was it? Um, uh, Reykjavik, Heklovik, what am I thinking? So, yeah, hopefully I can get some more international planes soon so I can do more time frames because obviously, like, Korean and a and and um, uh, probably even Royal, now Royal Virginia is in the right spot. China Southern, probably, all of those would probably not be here with uh, Qatar, BA, 
uh, Japan would be morning typically. But we're just trying to have some fun with it, obviously. Tui would be after, yeah, afternoon would be like Tui. Um, South Africans probably morning, I would think, could be wrong. Um, KLM, Japan, or KLM, BA, Qatar, all those, Royal Jordanian, that would all be afternoon. Emirates would be, probably be midday, so. But let's have some fun with it, why not? Okay, let's go get these taxing aircraft. But first and foremost, here's this beautiful United Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner taking off over to San Francisco on a turnaround, looking really nice there. This Delta Airlines Boeing 717-200 is currently taxiing into the ramp after a non-stop flight today in from Rochester, New York. He's gonna be heading on over to uh, Birmingham, Alabama here in a little bit. This American Airlines Boeing 737-800 is currently coming in today from uh, Houston Air Continental, and now it's going to be heading on over to uh, Fort Myers. This JetBlue Airbus A321 with the Prism Tell is currently taxiing into the ramp from New York John Kennedy. Come heading back out there here in a little bit. The low cost lineup continues with Southwest and their Boeing 737 MAX 8 coming here from Dallas Love Field. Now he's going to be heading on over to Ontario. Dang it, I didn't know that I lost an antenna on this Frontier. The antenna right here is missing, but luckily it's not the most noticeable, but dang, come on, Gemini. Nevertheless, this uh, Frontier Urbis E321 in the Steve the Eagle Tail, beautiful model. Really haven't got to use this one enough, to be honest. It's just tough because Frontier doesn't fly many 321s to all my other airports besides Fictional, so great to get it in here, nevertheless. Out to, um, uh, let's see, this is gonna be a, um, Tamp, or I'm sorry, um, let's go with Miami for him. Came in earlier today from Atlanta. This uh, United Airbus E319 is taxing in from, uh, let's send this guy on over to, put a few too many Uniteds in, I'll be completely honest. Uh, this guy's coming in today from Las Vegas, gonna be heading on over to Phoenix. This Lufthansa Airbus E330 300 is taxing out for Munich right now, so looking really great. Glad to get that in here, it's a beautiful model. And I think this, yeah, this is the last aircraft of the airport update. It's gonna be the beautiful Qantas Airbus A380 800 coming in from Sydney. And we'll be heading back out there in about three hours, going to take the BA gate right there. And yeah, everybody, just like that, that'll do for today's update. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one as there was a bunch of great aircraft. Again, I apologize about the lighting. It has not been ideal for the last four or five updates. It's just really challenging right now as uh, I'm winter here at a, uh, for college has been really tough because I've had to stay um, over at college um, several days due to some flight training commitments that have ate up my weekends. So that's really been unfortunate, but the good news is the updates are still making it and we're having a great time with it. So also I apologize if there was a limited amount of changes compared to what I would like, uh, would ideally like to have. I ended up filming February, March, April, and May all in the same um, session. So meaning that I didn't set up any, I didn't change, I didn't reset up the airport. I just changed all the aircraft around and add some different GSC and everything. So I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get some massive changes. So the good news is the next time I'll be recording this will be in the summer, um, like the dead summer, like June. So we'll be in uh, into summer I, um, full swing and we'll have better lighting and hopefully all that fun stuff. So. I really enjoyed uh, the winter months for Great Plains. We had some great changes and some really good variety. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that as well. I'm really looking forward to the progression. Hopefully a bunch of new routes and all kinds of new aircraft and everything. Also with the new models as well. Very sorry about that, but luckily we got quite a few new ones in for these updates, but the good news is the next updates will have even more. I'm looking forward to that. We'll have seen United CRJ 200 movements. Probably have some change up with that terminal. And uh, if everything goes really well, hopefully the new terminal extension will finally be here. Uh, again, I really didn't want to record May yet because we're still quite a ways out. I mean, it's only March 20, so we're only a month and a half. So that's why I really chose to do it. But at the same time, you know, it would have been really cool to get some new elements in here, but the new map's gonna be awesome. Hopefully it'll be done at that point. But uh, that will be a story for another time. So really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take these, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.